Hallelujah. Everybody glad that they made it. Hallelujah. Everybody Thank glad that they made it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Prophetically, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 You're worthy, oh God. Thank you, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. For making it. For making it. For bringing us over. Yes, God. For bringing us over. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Thank bless you, God. The name Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Come on and put your hands together. Come on and bless the Lord with us. Come on, we're going to leap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is great and greatly to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. God is great. God is great and greatly to be praised. Glory, 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 glory to his name. God is great and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. God is great. God is great and greatly to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. I will bow. I will bow before His Majesty. I will lift. I will lift my hands and sing. God is, God is great yes, and greatly is. to be praised. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Say it again. I will bow. I will bow before His Majesty. I will lift. I will lift my hands, my hands and sing. God is, God is great. And greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord oh my soul. I can joy when I think about what is done for me. I can joy when I think about what is done for me. I can joy when I think about what is done for me. I can joy when I think about what is done for me. Hey, you can't tell and let me tell what is done for me. Hey, you can't tell and let me tell. What is done for me? You don't know like I know. What is done for me? You don't know like I know. Oh, what is done for me? That's what he's done. 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 He carried me. That's what he's done. Carry me. That's what he's done. 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 He protects me. That's what he's done. From danger seen. That's what he's done. That's what he's done. That's what he's done. That's what he's done. Put food on the plate. That's what he's done. Clothes on the back. That's what he's done. 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 I'm so glad. That's what he's done. 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 Oh yeah, that's what he's done. 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 Oh, I don't know what you come to do. 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 I didn't come to look at you. 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 But I came to pack my hands. My hands. I came to stomp my feet. My hands. I came to lift him up. My hands. I came to lift him up. Him up. I come to pack my hands. My hands. I come to stomp my feet. My feet. I come to leap for joy. For joy. Help me leap for joy. For joy. Leap. Come on, say leap. Come on, say leap. Everybody. Leap. Everybody. Leap. Everybody. Leap. Everybody. Oh, 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 
I don't know what you come to do. 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 I didn't come to look at you. 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 Oh, but I said, clap my hands. My hands. Help me clap my hands. My hands. Come on, clap your hands. My hands. Come on, clap your hands. My hands. I come to stop my feet. My feet. Come come to stop my feet. I come to stop my feet. I come to stop my feet. I come to do my dance. Come on and do your 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 dance. Come on and leave, 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 into your death, leave, into your faith, leave, into your blood, leave, into your fear, leave, into your fear, leave, come on and leave, leave, come on and leave, leave, come on and leave, leave. Oh, come on and praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. We love the Lord. Anybody love the Lord like I do? Anybody love the Lord like I do? Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Come on, anybody love the Lord? Like Hallelujah. really, 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 really love the Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, O God. Hallelujah. Yeah. I really love the Lord. I really love the Lord. You don't know what He's done for me. He gave me the victory. That's why I love him. I love him. I really love, love. Lord. Come on and help the saints say I. Sing unto the Lord. Lord. He wants to hear from you. Say, I, I really love the Lord. Come on and say, You don't know. You don't know what He's done for me. Oh, yeah. He gave me the victory. Oh yeah, he gave 
worship you and we honor you God because if it had not been for you Lord knows where we, we be so God as we come before your presence and before your throne we ask oh God that you be in the midst of this service God, yes, God. that you be in the midst of this service God that you will heal and deliver and set free God Anything that tries to be a hindrance to us, God. God, we ask you to remove it in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you to just have your way. Have your way any sick that is among us, any sick that we don't even know about. Father God, we claim you for healing, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, we just love you. We honor you. Yes. God. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. For your King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. For your Alpha and Omega. Yes, God. You're the beginning and the end. God, we just thank you. We love thank you. We you, honor Jesus. you. We glorify you with everything that's within us, God. Yes, Jesus. Keep a hedge of protection around yes, us, God. God. Keep us, God, in your will. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes. Amen. Amen.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. I'll be reading for your hearing Psalms 91. Verse 1 reads as thus, Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the diseases that stalk in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Amen. These evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. These are the words of the Lord we receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, lift your hands and lift your voice Hallelujah. because you made it. Jesus. You made it. You made it. Hallelujah. You made it. But this is the day that the Lord has Glory made. To your name, Let God. us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. For the word of the Lord declares, I was glad when they said unto Thank me, you, Jesus. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Thank Come on, God. bless him. Hallelujah and magnify his name for the lord is good for the lord is good and he is greatly to be praised come on give him i made it praise come on you have a reason and a right this is the first sunday of this new year of 2021 come on and give god your best praise that you made it he kept you he kept you he kept you he kept you hallelujah thank you god oh hallelujah hallelujah Oh, come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Come on and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, tell the Lord for, you, for Lord. keeping you. Tell the Lord, thank, thank you, you for, for providing. Tell Hallelujah. the Lord, thank you for making a way thank out of nowhere. Lord. Tell the Lord, thank you Hallelujah. for bringing you through another year, another season, another journey. Oh, Lord, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad, God, that you kept us. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Just another day that the Lord has kept you. Thank you, Lord. Just another year that the Lord has kept you. He made a way out of no way. Oh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited for your future. I'm excited for your next. I'm excited for your blessing. I'm excited for what the Lord is getting ready to do for your life in this year. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. But this is definitely the day that he has made, and you ought to be glad. We are glad. And you ought to rejoice in it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New You. Happy New Beginning. Thank you, Lord. Happy to the newness of God. Excited. And we are excited, excited. Pastor Dawn, of what you, the Jesus. Lord is doing made it. and is going to do yes. in this year of 2021. Amen. And so let us be the first to wish you a very, very happy new year. I know some of you are on our New Year's Eve worship experience. And some of you are on our New Year's Eve into the New Year Zoom, and we want to say thank you for worshiping with yes. us. Thank you, thank you for, for being on this there. morning. Thank you to our partners and our new uh, worshipers that are worshiping with us in this new year. Amen. Thank you to our church family. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah, glad to be worshiping God. with you 
in this new year. Hallelujah. Thank if you, you could be Lord. so kind just to hit the share button to let your followers Spread know the that word. Living Grace Worship Cathedral is live on Facebook and as well Thank as you. YouTube. So let's get the word out. Let's spread the gospel of Jesus Christ Amen. in this new year to some lost soul that need to know them for himself. Amen. Amen. Good morning to our executive Good pastor. Good morning, Bishop. Thank you, praise team, yes. for setting the atmosphere. Amen. Thank you, musicians. Thank you, Lord. As always, the spirit of the Lord is in this place. Yes. And I'm excited about it. It is first Sunday where we dine at the Lord's table. We break his bread and we drink his blood. Amen. Amen. To commemorate his death and his burial for our life. And so on today, I, I I encourage you to make sure that you have something to partake in Holy Communion as we come together and honor the Lord's presence. Amen. amen. Pastor Dorn have some great things to share with us on this morning. Amen, amen. We thank you again for joining us this morning. Yes. Um, we are just excited. We made it another year. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, you, Lord. Jesus. But we do have some great and exciting things. Um, tomorrow kicks off our Daniel Fast. Woo! And Hallelujah. we welcome everybody to participate. Everybody. Of course, voluntarily check with your medical professional right. to make sure that you are able to participate. Yes. Um, you should have received the information um, about the fast, but it's very simple. It's a 21-day fast. Yes. We're going to be corporately fasting and praying daily. Um, from January 4th up until January 25th. That's right. Um, it's just simple. It's vegetables, vegetables, and fruit, and that's pretty much it. The last week we are introducing and re, um, bringing back uh, fish and chicken. So information did go out, but um, we want you to be able to participate corporately fast with us. We have a lot coming up for us this year. Our bishop, he's going to talk about our theme and vision for the ministry. Yes. Um, but we are getting ourselves prepared for that. And the Daniel fast, what a way to kick off this year. Hallelujah. Um, it's unto giving it back to God in prayer and fasting. So we ask that you all partner with us yes. as we move forward with that. We also would like to uh, wish everybody who had a birthday everybody in the end of December. That's I know right. we have some that are, and then we have some that are in the beginning of January and yeah. the whole month of January. We salute you and we say happy, happy birthday. birthday. Amen. 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 Special Amen. shout out to Mother Ann. Yes. Amen. I just celebrated a birthday. Yes. Also her daughter. Sister Gwen. Sister Gwen Green celebrated a birthday. Amen. And then on New Year's Day. Amen. 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 Our Amen. very own minister, Siandra Ghost celebrated a birthday yes. and so all of the January Everybody. birthdays we want to say happy happy, happy birthday. birthday that may God continue to bless you and prosper you Amen. in this new year you know you were talking about the fast and the 21 days and this is the year of 2021 Amen. and I just want to encourage everyone yes. for each day write down your vision yes. and your blessing for these next 21 days. And I want you to document. definitely document what God is getting ready to do for you in this year. Amen. Hallelujah. He's going Thank to you, provide Jesus. that 21 day blessing, that 21 day breakthrough, whatever you stand in need of, God is going to do it in 21 these 21 days. days. If you join us on this fast, if Amen. you participate in any way possible that you can, get ready to receive the greatness and the manifestation of the Lord that he has for your life. Amen. 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 We also would like to um, share that on next Sunday, next Sunday, next Sunday, we are coming back to in-person worship and you will receive an invitation um, to register. We are doing it on a first come first serve basis, but you will have to register and RSVP back. And we're asking that you do complete that no later than Friday at 6 p.m. And then we will be responding back with you as to if we've received it and that you're clear for um, attendance. Um, we also want to make it known that we have had a, a great amount of people who have joined the ministry. Ooh, amen. amen. So what Hallelujah. we will be doing um, next Sunday, why put off now what we can do? That's We're going right. to go ahead and extend the right hand of fellowship amen. to We're all, welcome them home. all who have completed their yes. uh, new membership classes. We're going to welcome you on back here actually into in-person worship so whether you're Amen. joining us virtually or um in person we would prefer if you could make it out if you can um to come in person Amen. and we'll be happy to um not officially shake your hand but welcome you back into well, you know i may the throw house. a foot, foot yes. thing we'll out do there, something creative bone or whatever <laughs> fist pump but yes. we want to connect with you and thank you 
for entrusting us here at Living Amen. Grace Worship Cathedral as we continue to journey together and grow together in the word of the Lord. And so as Pastor Dorn said, come back, join us. I'm excited. I'm Pastor so Dorn. excited. I, I can't, I can't wait, wait to, to see, see everybody you. in this new year. And so please register, sir, yes. ma'am, get it in as soon as possible so that we can prepare a safe environment, a safe place for you to come and to worship. For those who've been worshiping with us prior, mm -hmm. we, you know how we do. Amen. And we're going to take it up another notch. Yes. And we're going to make sure that everyone is secure in a safe place that we worship the Lord together. Amen. 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 Those are your morning Praise announcements. God. Stay tuned. All right. See you shortly. Good morning, Living Grace Worship Cathedral. Here are our morning announcements. Prayer is the key that unlocks all doors. Join us Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. The dial-in number is 515-603-3115 and the access code is 625-910. Are you in need of a recharge? Join us every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. for our Wednesday night recharge Bible study. The adult classes will be held on Facebook Live and the teen and young adult classes will be held via Zoom. Please see the flyer for the information. We hope to see you there. LGWC, we need your help. Volunteers are needed for the following. Audio, media, ushers, greeters, registration, and the praise team. If you are interested, please email the church at lgwcde at gmail.com. Thank you. Happy birthday! We want to take this time to wish everybody with a birthday this month a very special and blessed happy birthday. May God allow you to see many more. God bless. Just as a friendly reminder, during this pandemic season, registration is required to attend in-person worship at Living Grace Worship Cathedral. If you would like to register, please click on the link in your email, fill out the form, and submit it. Thank you for your attention. God bless. Please join us as we have 21 days of prayer and fasting starting January 4th through January 25th. Let's get together, turn down our plate, and seek the Lord. Thank you. God bless. Thank you all for your attention, and please govern yourselves accordingly. God bless. Welcome back, 
please govern yourself according. We have a lot of things that's going to be taking place on this year, and we want to make sure that you are connected, you are informed of all the great things that is taking place here at Living Grades Worship Cathedral. Look forward to you being with us for our recharge. I know you heard it on the announcement, but I want to invite you personally uh, here for in-person uh, Bible study on this coming Wednesday as well. And so I'm going to be here, but you can continue to follow us online. But those who do want to come in for Bible study recharge on this coming Wednesday, you can meet me here at 7 p.m. Amen. Here in the sanctuary as we journey through the word of the Lord. Yes, we're getting back to things that God has called us to do. And we want you to connect and be a part of that. Uh, listen, this is the part of the service which you know that we all worship together in, which is in our giving. It's a new year. And we want to encourage you to start this year off on the good foot, on a good note, on faith, on God's principle, on God's word, on God's promise, and obedience. And listen, this is the first Sunday of this year. We want to bring in our first fruit, our first seed of this year. We're getting ready to turn down our plates and go on this consecration. And we want to give God a peace offering, a thank offering. We want to give him our first fruit to say, Lord, we thank you for keeping us through the year of 2020. And Lord, I want to be a blessing to you and to my local church by starting this year off in the year of 2021. And so I encourage you to stand with us, amen, and so into good ground so that this ministry will be able to go forth. And I want to thank our givers and our partners and our leaders for the year of 2020. Your support and your giving has sustained, kept, protected, and provided for this ministry to do the work throughout this year of 2020. And I want to say thank you for all of those who have given in their tithes and their offering or sown a seed into this ministry. God will remember you. And the Bible declares, press down, shaken together, build it up, and run it over. And he will continue to open windows of heaven and pour out blessings that it shall not be room enough to receive. So thank you for standing with us throughout this challenging year and 2020. And I need your support in this year of 2021. There's a lot of things that we want to continue to press through and do for the ministry and for the community, as well as the state and around the world. Mission is our ministry. We're getting ready to send a thousand face masks to South Africa. South Africa had an extreme outbreak of COVID-19 in those villages, and we're sending a thousand face masks to South Africa. And so this is what your financial support does. It helps people not just locally or in our state, but it helps people around the world. And so I want to thank you. Continue to give, continue to support, continue to pray for us as I continue to pray for you. Father, we thank you, God, for those, Father, who are getting ready to give, God, that you will continue to meet every need right now. Pour out your spirit and your blessing upon them from the crown down to the soles of their feet. God, we thank you for this new year. We thank you, God, for new blessings. We thank you, God, for new mercy. We thank you, God, for the new things, God, that you're getting ready to have in store and do for each and every one of them, God, who is giving unto you on this morning. And now, God, you said in your word that you'll open windows of heaven. You'll pour it out that it should not be room enough to receive. And, God, we thank you for the blessing. And, God, we thank you for the increase. And, God, we're always careful to give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, stay tuned. There's ways that how you can give. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is a part of a service that we can participate together. We worship the Lord in our giving. The Bible declares that God loves a cheerful giver. It is more blessed to give than it is to receive. We're encouraging to partner and support Living Grace Worship Cathedral so that we can continue to build the kingdom, save souls, and move the mission forward. But through that, we have to be obedient. 
Giving obeys God's command. Your obedience is better than the sacrifice. Also, giving submits to God's lordship. Through those obedience gives us the authority that God has put over our life to continue to do the things that we do. Also, giving exhibits God's heart. He gives seed to the sower. We reap what we sow. And so this is your season to reap your abundant blessing. There are ways that you can support Living Grace through giving. You can give on Give a Fly, locate us at Living Grace Worship Cathedral. You can also give by Cash App, dollar sign LGWCDE. You can also give through PayPal, PayPal me forward slash LGWCDE. And if you're the traditionalist and you just want to mail a seed in to support us, you can mail it in to 364 East Main Street, Suite 206, Middletown, Delaware, 19709. God has greatness in store for you. God bless you. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. We will bless him because he's an excellent God. There's no thing that he has done that's failed. There's no command he has given that has dropped to the ground. That's why we call him excellent. Somebody say excellent. excellent. He's an excellent God, and we give him perfect Thank praise. You, come on, come on, open up your mouth and worship. Come on, come Hallelujah, on. Open up your Jesus. mouth and worship. Come on, come Hallelujah, on. Jesus. Come on, take your imperfect, your, your, uh, your, your frailties, everything you have, and give it to God, and he will make those things perfect. Come on, come Hallelujah. on, come on. And now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, yes, abundantly above what we can ask for. Thank things. you, God. That's why he's an Excellent God.
Come on, he deserves great praise Hallelujah. right there. Because he's a great God. Hallelujah. And he's greatly to be praised. In the city of our God, I will. I will, I will, I will bless him. I will bless him. Hallelujah. Yes, I will. Because he's excellent. Hallelujah. And everything that he does. And everything that he said, Hallelujah. he made me excellent. He made you excellent. Every failure you think you've done, God made it excellent. Come on, somebody ought to claim, be glad about it. Be glad about it, no matter what anybody around you thinks. He made you, and it was good. Come on. I'm so glad I serve an excellent God. Hey, hallelujah. Come on, bless him. Oh, God, we thank you. God, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thy name. Come on, just bless God. Come on, tell the Lord thank you one more time. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, God, we glorify your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. All the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, when you begin to praise God, something begins to happen. Come on, you begin to praise God. God begins to move. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. And now, God, as we go higher in this service, pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Meet us right where we are. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God, on this first Sunday, as we break bread, your body that has been broken, your blood that has been shed on Calvary's cross. Forgiveness of our sins. God, we say thank you. God, let this be a year of new beginning and a year of expectancy, a year of bountiful blessings, a year of covering, a year of healing, a year of deliverance, a year of favor now in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, over every viewer, God, and those that are here in this worship experience. God, will continue to look to the hills when we come at thy help, knowing that our help comes from the Lord. God, we pray now that you'll continue to bless our going out and our coming in. And now, God, look upon your manservant. Lord, as I decrease, you increase. Hide me behind your cross of Calvary. Speak to me and through me, God. Forgive me of any wrongdoing. God, if you find anything that is not like you, Take it away from me right now. Deliver me now. Anoint my lips, God, that I may speak your word. Anoint my eyes, God, that you may show me your glory. Anoint my ears, God, that I may hear your voice. Anoint my hand, God, that I may continue to do the work. Now forever, God, let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my Redeemer, and the people of God say amen and amen. Well, praise the Lord, amen. I'm excited to be giving this word on this new year of 2021. If you have your Bibles, your electronic device, whatever connects you to God's word, go with me, if you will. The gospel according to Matthew, the sixth chapter, a lengthy verse going to be reading on this morning verse number 16 down to verse number 34 reading for your hearing from the new king james version a little long on this morning but this is what we need to hear for this new year we're getting ready to start this consecration fast on tomorrow we find in verse number 16 talks about fasting to be seen only by God. Verse number 16 says, Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites, 
with a sad conscience. But they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Or surely I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in a secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Verse 19 talks about the lay up your treasures in heaven. And it says, do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth. Where moths and rust destroys, where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. But where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. Then we find the lamp of the body. Verse number 22, the lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, your eye is good. Your body, your whole body will be full of light. But if their eye is bad, the whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? Then we find that you cannot serve God and riches. Verse number 24. No one can serve two masters, but either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. But don't worry in verse number 25. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you put on. It is not life more than food, but the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valued than they? Which you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature. Verse 28, so why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not, hallelujah, arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven. Will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? God help us. Or what shall we drink? Or, or what shall we wear? For after all of these, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Verse number 33. But seek first the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And all his righteousness. And all of these things will be added to you. Therefore, not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Significant for the day is its own trouble. I want to emphasize my brothers and my sisters on verse number 33 and 34 reading on this morning but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all of these things will be added to you all of these things will 
be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Brothers and my sisters, you're hearing on this morning and on this new year, first Sunday in the year of 2021, I want to preach from the subject that we have work to do. Yeah, yeah, we have work to do. We have so much work to do. My brothers and my sisters, this past year of 2020 has left so much to recover from. This is one year, this is our year of wellness. This year is a year of replacement. This is our year of recovery. In order to be well mentally, in order to be well emotionally, in order to be well physically, in order to be well economically, my brothers and my sister, there is work to do. I wish we could uh, slide into this new year naming and claiming and possessing, but but not this year. This year here, my brothers and my sisters, is a year of field work. Hallelujah. This is going to be a year of pulling up some roots and this is going to be a year of 2021. I'm not trying to rain on your parade, but I'm trying to prepare you for the blessing that God has in store for you in the year of 2021. This is going definitely, Overseer Broughton, is going to be a year of cleaning away the debris of 2020. When the storms of life came and the earthquake and in this pandemic and the COVID-19 virus and racial injustice and brutality and countless loss of lives and jobs and resources. For some, this might have been a year of blessings, and we thank the Lord for you. Hallelujah. But for others, it might have been a year of bruising. It's been a year of pain. It's been a year of struggle. It's been a, a year of fear. It's been a, a year of testing. It's been a year of doubt. It's been a year of death. It's been a year of life. This year has been a challenging year. It's been an interesting year. Hallelujah. And many of us have the marks to prove what we have been through this year. Our pain is real. Our scars are real. Our grief is is real. Our tears are real. Our blessings and the great things that the Lord might have done for you and for others are real. But on this year now that we're in 2021, we definitely have some work to do. Why? Because some are still feeling the aftershock. Hallelujah. Can I encourage you this morning that that that's all right, that the Lord kept us and that that we might be well and be healing uh, to those who are in need. You've got to understand that God has kept you and God has protected and God has provided so that you may fulfill the purpose and the assignment that God has for your life, that you may be well and bring healing to somebody who might be in need. Amen, somebody. This is a year, year 2021. My brothers and sisters, we are being called to spiritual wellness and well-being, called to do and to want better for ourselves and those around us. This year, yeah, this is a year to be proactive, my brothers and sisters. Not only that, but this is a year to produce your best life. God wants to do something greater in your life this year than he did last year. And I tell people all the time, don't look to get the best out of life, but allow life to get the best out of you. You ought to be giving life and every day the best you, giving God the best best youth, your best praise, your best worship, your best service unto the Lord. This is a year that our soul will prosper. We find that the Bible tells us in 3 John verses 1 
uh, chapter 1, verse 2, the King James Version shares these words. It says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. Can I read the New International Version? It tells us, Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy, hear this, good health that you may go well with you even as your soul is getting, hallelujah, along well. We find that the New Living Translation tells us, dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are as healthy, that you are as healthy in your body as you are strong in your spirit. This this is a year of spiritual wellness. This is a year that God is going to get us healthy mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, and in our spirit that we may prosper in everything that we do. We can't, we can't get the bountiful blessings if we're not well in our mind and our body and our soul. We can't name and claim things if we're not well. We can't walk into the newness if we're not well. And this is a year that God is going to restore and to refresh and to recover so that you may be well. You may have to go through a season of rehab, a rehabilitation that God is working on you internally so that you may be well externally to the body and to the believers of those who you bring light to. Hallelujah. What does it mean for us to be spiritually well? Come to find that spiritual wellness provides us with a system of faith and, and beliefs and, and values and ethics and principles and more spiritual wellness allows one to live a life consistent with his or her belief and moral system while we establish feelings of purpose and finding meaning in life's event. What is the importance of spiritual wellness? Well, my brothers and sisters, the importance of spiritual wellness is not only allows you to seek meaning and purpose in human existence, but it also allows you to uh, appreciate your life experience for what they are. I want to help you, my brothers and my sisters, when you find meaning in your life experiences, you will be able to develop harmony with your inner self and the outside world. Beloved, we witness throughout the Bible and we witness Jesus healings and miracles. We we find that 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 wellness uh, or spiritual wellness comes with a commitment and change. We have to understand that God requires something of you. Amen. That we understand that God wants us to meet him where he is. We have to understand that God saved and redeemed and restored you because he has purpose for your life. But wellness or spiritual wellness comes with a level of commitment. And not only that, you must be willing to make some change. My brothers and sisters, this year, 2021, we will journey throughout the Bible making the needed and necessary changes or adjustment for our spiritual wellness. While on this spiritual fast and this spiritual cleansing and also this spiritual reflection, we must first examine our walk and our relationship with God. Our theme for this year of 2021 is spiritual wellness. Amen. God wants you to be well. He wants you to be well in your body. It is well in your soul. Brothers and sisters, in order to reach, watch this, this level of spiritual wellness, we must seek it. If we want transformation in our body or in our daily living and our activities, we must seek it. If I desire to change any aspect of my life, I must seek it. If I want stability in my health, in my wealth, and my body, I must seek it. Nothing will change in my exterior or my interior, spiritual or natural, if I'm not willing to do the work. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. I wish I had a witness on this morning. There is much work to do, and the work must go through its progress. 
Your body must prog uh, your body must go through its progress, hallelujah, so that you can feed it spiritually and naturally. There's a process and progress for everything that we must do in order to get to the level that God has for your life. In order to get in, you got to in order to take out of something, you got to be willing to put in. You got to seek it. The Bible reminds us about wellness. The text says you reap what you sow. Come on, somebody. Uh, and, and we have to understand if there's not willing to go through the process, hallelujah, then how do we expect to get the resort? Lord, help me. How do we expect to reap something if we're not willing to go through the progress? Hallelujah. We have to go through the process of everything that we can receive what God has for your life. And if you understand like I do, if you don't go through it, my brothers and sisters, it won't work. It's like if you go to work, hallelujah, and, and, expect, and don't do the job, how can you expect to be paid? If you go to the grocery store and leave with nothing, how do you expect to eat? If you don't, change, hallelujah, your mindset and your behavior. How do you expect God to continue to meet you where you are and pour you out the blessings that he desires for your life? How many know that if you don't even plug in your phone or your electronic devices, how do you expect it to work? you got to practice. You have to be committed. You have to do something that will bring change. You have to respect it. you got to honor it. You got to live by God's word. You have to connect to his word. You have to apply his word. You have to obey his word. You have to practice his word. And how do you expect it to work in your life if you do not go through the process so that God can bring you progress in your life? How do you expect to reap if you did not put in? And how can you expect to take out of somewhere that you have not sown? How do you expect to get the results if you have not done the work? God has, hallelujah, has us in isolation to prepare us for the work. Let me say that again. God had us in this year past in isolation to prepare us for the work. And that's why Jesus tells us in Mark's gospel, chapter 1, verse 14 through 50, Jesus came into Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, the time is fulfilled that the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. you got to understand that the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. we got so much work to do. Do I have a believer on this morning? We have so much work to do. We don't have time to be murmuring and complaining. We don't have time to be waiting and, and questioning. We, we have to put our hand to the plow. And our text this morning in Matthew, the sixth chapter, verse 33, teaches and reminds us of our responsibility. The text says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all of these things will be added to you. My brothers and my sisters, I come to remind you this morning that you made it into a new year. Don't worry about last year. Don't even worry about your past. Don't, don't worry about the have and the have-nots. Don't worry uh, your heart about tomorrow and what tomorrow will bring the world might have you in a trance and you can't focus. Your eyes may be fixed on the things that you can see. But Jesus tells us in verse, hallelujah, 32, he says, Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life and what you will eat and what you will drink, nor about your body. For your heavenly Father, who knows all, that you need. I want to help somebody understand God knows all about it. He knows everything that you need. He knows all the desires of your heart. And I want to help somebody get your blessing or get to your blessing. You might have been looking in the wrong direction. You might have been looking to the wrong folks. You might have been looking to the wrong things. But I got news for you in this year of 2021, verse 
33 tells us about our blessing. And the Bible tells us, and it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Hallelujah. You better catch it. And whatever you need, hallelujah, whatever you need, the Bible says all, whatever your desires are, all, whatever you ask, all, all of these things will be added to you. Somebody ought to tell the Lord, thank you, because everything that you need and every desire, the Bible says, will be added to you. Don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. We find that when people say, seek ye first, they are reciting only a small portion of Matthew 6 and 33. The scripture has a very deep meaning when it is considered in its entirety along with the surrounding verses. In order for the verse to be understood, one should know that Matthew 6 is a part of Jesus' sermon on the mount that includes Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7. Those chapters include the teachings of Jesus and at the beginning of his ministry, soon after, he was baptized by John the Baptist. But seek ye first, to quote, to quote, seek ye first is to minimize the meaning of the entire verse and passage of which those three words are such a small part. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things will be added to you is a completed verse. But we find in verse 33 begins with a conjunction and we find the word but that lets us know that that it's not a, a standalone verse it, it, it is a continuation of a conversation that started much earlier and the conjunction joins Matthew 6 and 33 to the verses that start as early as Matthew verse 25 and ends with Matthew verse 34 which goes one verse beyond the short portion that is quoted to seek something is earnestly looking for with expectation of finding it. And that's what God is telling us in the Bible this morning that we have to continue to seek after him. It is an unfortunate that some people often do not seek God first. They seek friends first. They seek their finance first. They seek opportunities first. They seek what others have to say first. But when we seek God, hallelujah, somebody, when we put God, we find Jeremiah 29, 30, 13 says, uh, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. The word seek in Matthew 33 is a present. Uh, uh, we find that it's a verb uh, that means one is to pursue something and one is pursuing without stopping. You got to hear this, my brothers and sisters. There is a very important discussion that starts in Matthew verses 25 and 34 that deals with trusting God. Reason are giving not to worry about basic human needs for the body. We find that Jesus teaches that we should not worry about what we'll eat and what we will drink and what we will wear. But starting in verse 25, it says, do not be anxious about your life and what you will eat and what you will drink or what your body, what you will put on. It's not life more than food and your body more than clothing. Verse 26 to 30, Matthew gives two examples of similar things. Don't worry about their needs because God will take care of them. The birds of the air do not sow nor weep or gather into the barns, but yet their supplies for their needs are met. The lilies of the field do not toil nor spin, but God takes care of them. My brothers and my sister, it gets better. Verse 33 reminds us again to seek him first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything will be added to you. In other words, we should depend on God for our provisions instead of worrying about how we will obtain them. I wish I had a witness knowing that all these things. The Bible said all of these things referring to our eating and our drinking and our wearing clothes when we depend on God. Hallelujah. We are sure to have the basic human needs. Matthew 34 tells us that we are not to be anxious about tomorrow for tomorrow 
uh, will be anxious for itself, significant to the day of its own trouble. Why should we seek the kingdom of God first? The kingdom of God and its sovereignty of God and his rule over all the creation. We should seek first the kingdom of God so that we can be a part of that what God will offer that we would depend on him for everything instead of relying on others or ourselves. My brothers and sisters, Jesus told his followers not to worry about provisions such as food or, or drink or clothes. But watch this. It tells us that in everything that he will add unto you. So don't worry. I'm coming to my clothes now. But the text reminds us, it says there are four major takeaways in this passage that include in verse number 33. According to Matthew in verse 25, we're told not to worry about the food, the drink, or the clothes. In verse 26 to 30, Jesus tells us to consider the birds, the lilies of the field, and do not even worry about their work or their needs because God will provide for them. We now see an invitation is given in Matthew 33 is to put God first and he will meet all of our needs. Matthew 34 gives us a final, a final uh, 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 advice. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. I wish I had a witness right there that you don't have to worry about what you're going through. You don't have to worry about what you've been through. You don't have to worry about the things that you are facing. Verse number 34 gives us this reassurance that we need in this year of 2021. I got to close now, but the text says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. Look at somebody in your home or right where you are and tell them everything is going to be all right. Don't don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Don't worry about the things that we have to face. Don't worry about what we're going through. Don't worry about the decisions that we have to make because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has its own trouble of its own. I got to close this thing, but I come to remind the daydreaming folks, the daydreaming folks that how are you going to make it the daydreaming on how you're going to survive they're daydreaming on how they're going to make it through they're daydreaming on where my help comes from they're daydreaming on when god is going to show up they're they're daydreaming on when my blessing is going to come but i got a word for the daydreamers snap back and step over it's time for you to snap out of that thing come on back come on back come on back don't lose your focus in the wrong place. I come to remind you, wherever you, God, help me this morning, whatever got you in the year of 2020, this is your time and your season to snap back and step over it. Stop daydreaming over that thing. Your health, snap back and step over it. Stop daydreaming over that thing. Your finances, snap back and step over it. Your mindset, snap back and step Step over it. Your freedom. Stop back and step over it. Whatever got you down. I don't know who you are on this morning, but I come with a word from the Lord that this is your year to snap back and to step over it. God said that I restore back to you the years uh, that was lost. Now is your time to come out of that trance. Uh, come on and wake up this morning. Wake up and snap back and snatch it back back and take over everything that the enemy put his filthy hands on in the year of 2020. Uh, and God told me to tell somebody that this is your year to step over it. Uh, I come to let you know this morning uh, that God is giving you the ability uh, to step over your fears, uh, step over your hurt, uh, step over your pain, uh, step over that laziness, uh, step over that funky attitude. 
attitude. Huh? Step over your addiction. Huh? Step over your heartaches. Huh? Step over your grief. Huh? Step over your anxiety. Huh? Step over your disappointment. Huh? Step over that sickness and disease. Huh? Step over your struggles. Huh? I come to let somebody know huh? you better step over the deaf angels that you shall live and not die. Huh? Step over every generational curse huh? that's been keeping you in bondage. Huh? Today is the day huh? that we break every chain huh? and every yoke that's trying to huh? keep you down. Huh? But I come to let somebody know huh? that you are in the right place, huh? that you're going to step out on his promise, huh? that you're going to take a step into your best life, huh? that you're going to Step out on his word. Huh? I'm stepping into my new season. Huh? Where you at this morning? Huh? We come too far to turn back now. Huh? I'm getting ready to snap back huh? and serve the Lord. Huh? I'm getting ready to snap back huh? and serve the devil notice. Huh? Devil, you thought you had me in the year huh? of 2020. Huh? Devil, you thought that you were going to take my family. Huh? Devil, you tried me in last year. Huh? I almost fell for it. Huh? I almost gave in. Huh? I almost walked away. Huh? I almost fell into temptation. Huh? But where you at this morning? Huh? That know that you know that you know, no, no. Huh? That it could have went another way. Huh? I wish I had a witness this morning. Huh? It could have went another way. Huh? But I snapped back huh? and I stepped over it. Huh, that everything that came at me, huh, I snapped back huh, and I stepped over it. Huh. Thank you, Jesus, huh, because God lifted me. Huh. Where you at on this morning? Huh. God lifted me. Huh. I snapped back huh, and I stepped over huh, everything. Huh. I dare somebody huh, to stop daydreaming huh, about your past. Huh. I dare somebody huh, to stop daydreaming huh, about your tomorrow. Huh. But what I need you to do huh, is snap, 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 huh. snap, 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 huh. snap out of that thing huh. and step over huh. whatever it is. Huh. Because whatever it is, huh, it is no more. Huh. Step over it huh? right now in your home. Huh? I speak with an anointed huh? word over your life. Huh? Pull it together. Snap back. Huh? Pick up yourself. Huh? Get yourself together. Huh? Get your joy back. Huh? Get your peace back. Huh? Get your praise back. Huh? Get your blessing back. Huh? Get your love back. Huh? Get your vision back. Huh? Get your dreams back. Huh? Lift up your head. Huh? Walk in your newness. Huh? Embrace your wellness. Huh? Snap back huh? and step over the devil. Huh? Step over the devil. Huh? And while you're stepping over him, huh? put your foot on him huh? and put him back in his rightful place. Huh? Put him under your feet. Huh? Pick him up and put him down. Huh? Pick him up and put him down. Huh? Snap back, my brother. Huh. Snap back, my sister. Huh. Come on out of that trance. Huh. Come on out of that depression. Huh. Come on out of that daydream. Huh. There's work for you to do. Huh. You come too far. Huh. I come to let you know huh, that whatever has broken you, huh, whatever had you depressed, huh, I come with a word right now huh, from the Lord. Huh that you will snap back huh, and step over it. Huh? Snap out of that sinful nature. Huh? Snap out of that huh? and step over it. Huh? Step, step, step. Huh? Step, step, step. Huh? I remember they used to say, huh, I'm going to step to the left huh, and step to the right. Huh? I'm going to keep on stepping. Huh? I'm going to skip to my loo. Huh? I see myself. Huh? In my future, I see myself walking through my blessing. I'm stepping over every disappointment. I'm stepping over COVID-19. I'm stepping over 
this pandemic. Huh. Step, step, step. Huh. Step, step, step. Huh. Step, step, step. Huh. You ain't stepping. Huh. And if you ain't stepping, huh, then you ain't gonna move from this thing. Huh. You're gonna stay right where you are. Huh. You better pick up your foot. Huh. If you can't lift your leg, huh, you better wiggle your toes. Huh. But I got to do something. Huh. I got to step over it. Huh. We are at this morning. Huh. You got work to do. Huh. And when you do the work, huh, the Bible says huh, all of these things, huh, not some of them, huh, but every last one of them, huh, all of these things huh, will be added to you. Huh. You don't need to worry about nothing. Huh. You don't need to ask for nothing. Huh. You don't even need to want nothing. Huh. Because when you seek God first, I said when you seek God first, uh, I said when you seek God first, uh, when you seek God first, uh, when you obey God first, uh, when you give to God first, uh, everything will be added to you. Uh, you don't need to worry. Uh, you don't need to stress. Uh, you will be able to live uh, in good health. Uh, it shall be given. Uh, it shall be given. Uh, Good measures, uh, pressed down, uh, shaken together, uh, and runneth over. Uh, but you got work to do. Uh, where you at this morning? Uh, are you ready? Uh, no more excuses. Uh, I'm getting ready uh, for the Lord to bless me. Uh, I'm getting ready uh, to step into my season. Uh, Ask and it shall be given. Uh, Seek and you shall find. Huh? Knock and the door shall be open. Huh? It's no time to stop now. Huh? But you got work to do. Huh? I dare somebody huh, to lift your voice uh, huh, and tell the Lord, huh, Lord, use me. Huh? Use me, Lord. Huh? Any way you want to use me. Huh? Use me for your service. Huh? Use me for your glory. Huh? Use me now, God. Huh? Anyway, Carter, huh, I come to lift my voice. Huh, I dare somebody huh, to call on the name of the Lord. Huh, this is a new year, huh, and we didn't get a chance uh, huh, to have in-person worship. Huh, we didn't get a chance uh, to count down huh, and tell the Lord thank you. Huh, but I'm going to give you this chance uh, on this morning. Huh, but I need you to do something for me. Huh, I need you to open your mouth and tell the Lord, uh, here am I, tell the Lord, uh, it is well, uh, tell the Lord, uh, it is well with my soul, uh, tell the Lord, uh, I'm going to step over it, uh, tell the Lord, uh, I'm getting ready to step in, uh, my breakthrough, uh, I'm stepping in, uh, into my new life. Uh, come on, speak it in your home. Huh? Step in your home huh? and shout, it is well. Huh? It is well. Huh? It is well. Huh? It is well. Huh? I feel a New Year's praise. Huh? I said I feel huh? a New Year's praise. Huh? Getting ready to break out huh? in my house. Huh? Are you ready? Huh? to get ready to step over it huh, and step into your new huh, and step into your increase huh, and step into your blessing. Huh. I'm getting ready huh, to step over that thing huh, that's been keeping me down, huh, that's been tripping me up, huh, that's been holding me back. Huh. I got to say goodbye now huh, to all of my pain, huh, all of my suffering. Huh. It is over, huh, because it is well. Uh, huh. Many didn't make it, huh, but I've never seen the righteous uh, forsaken, uh, nor his seed begging bread. Huh. But while I'm still here, huh, I know that God got work for me. Huh. While I'm still here, huh, I'm going to have a praise on my lips. Huh. While I'm still here, huh, I might as well lift my hands. Huh. While I'm still here, huh, I might as well give him glory huh? while I'm still here. Huh? I might as live for him huh? all the days of my life. Huh? Can we celebrate Jesus? Huh? Can we cross over? Huh? Can we step over? Huh? 
Can we walk into our promise? Uh, can we walk into the increase? Uh, can we walk into the land uh, that is flowing with milk and honey? Uh, well, I need you to do one more thing. Uh, I don't need no quiet folks. Uh, I don't need no silent folks. Uh, but I need somebody uh, that don't mind throwing their head back. Uh, and I need somebody. Uh, I need about 30 of y'all this morning. Uh, that don't mind lifting your voice uh, and getting ready uh, to give God a New Year's praise. Uh, you got work to do. Uh, seek ye first uh, the kingdom of God uh, and all of his righteousness. Uh, and all of these things uh, will be added up to you. Uh, but you got to open your mouth. Uh, I feel a countdown coming. Uh, it's a new year. Uh, five, uh, four three two come on open your mouth huh? one and give god huh, your best friend come on step in it snap out of it step in it snap out of it step in it Snap out of it. I'm getting ready. It's my time. It's my year. I'm stepping. Come on. I'm stepping. I'm stepping. Ah, I'm stepping. Whoo! Hallelujah. 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 Come on. You made it. You made it. You made it. You got a reason right now to celebrate the Lord with me. You made it. It could have been you. It could have went another way. But God kept you. You were able to see another year. Come on, snap out of it. And step over it. Snap that thing back. And step over it. Whatever should have took you out. The enemy thought it had you. But you got away. And God, I give you praise. And God, I give you glory. And God, we give you the honor. Come on and bless him one more time. Yes! Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, y'all not there yet. There's some stuff that you need to step over right now. There's some things that you need to step over right now. There's some obstacles that you need to step over right now. There's some people that you need to step over right now. There's some hurt that you need to step over right now. There's some discouragement and, and there's some depression and there's some anxiety. There's some sickness. There's some disease. There's some financial struggle. There's some generational curses. There's some sins uh, that you need to step, 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 step over it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, snap out of that thing. Snap out of that thing and step, step over it. Because there is work for you to do. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. God is not through with you yet. There's so much work that God has for you. There's provisions that God has for you. And the text says, all of these things will be added unto you. Stop worrying. Stop stressing. Look to the Lord. Look to the Lord. Look to the Lord. He said, don't worry about it. Snap back, bounce back, step over. You know, there has been a, a, a cloud, a 
haze that had rested on this year of 2020. And you know, when there's a haze on your windshield or on your glasses, you cannot see clearly. And when your vision is obstructed, that is not a good place to be in. Affects everything around you. You can't see clearly. I come to wipe. Hallelujah. The haze away. I'm telling you to come out, come out, come out, come out right now in the name of Jesus. You've been making excuses of why you can't do. Come out, come out, come out. Snap out of that. The enemy has you in a trance. Snap, snap out of that. As you're sitting there in fear, snap, snap out of that. As you're looking at yourself down, snap, snap out of that. Making you think that you're not good enough. Making you think and question your anointing. Snap, snap, snap out of that. Come back. Focus. Step over that. Low self-esteem, insecurity, snap. Got time to be wasting time. There's work for you to do. These are all nothing but tricks of the enemy. It's keeping you in that place. Don't you know the enemy sees your blessing? Don't you understand that the enemy knows the great things that God has in store for you. And he can get into your ear. Cause you to start questioning and doubting everything and everyone around. Snap, 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 snap out of that. Snap back. Step over. God has greater work. It's been good to you. Yeah, it's been a year. But you made it. Don't carry over the same mindset. Don't carry over the same behavior. Don't carry over the same vision. Snap out of that. Step over it. Let life get the best you. You are more than a conqueror. God is not through with you. I want to pray for somebody this morning who, Bishop, man, I, 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 I was in a trance. It just seemed like I just couldn't see through that thing. It just had me spellbound. I was just locked in and daydreaming. You ever see a daydream in the eyes is just staring, minimal blinking. You got to, hey, 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 you got to get their attention. Hey, oh, hey, hey, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My mind went off somewhere else. That's what the enemy does. Distracts you. Have you in a trance and you're daydreaming about all your problems. You're daydreaming about your financial situation. You're daydreaming about your health, your diagnosis, your sickness. And the word of the Lord said, if you seek me first, and my righteousness, all of these things will be added unto you. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. You got to live your best life today. Tomorrow's not promised to me. Tomorrow's not promised to you. So time is running out. You don't have time. You got to do it today. Don't put off what you can do today for tomorrow. Do it now. And if you have not come to know Jesus, you have not accepted him, the pardons of your sin, and you have not confessed with your mouth, you have not told the Lord, I'm sorry, in this new year, told the Lord to have mercy on you in this new year, 
told the Lord to forgive you and save you and deliver you in this new year. Well, guess what? It's the first Sunday. Give, and it shall be given to you. Would you give your life to Christ? Would you give him your heart right now? Would you give him your right hand? And say, Lord, here am I. Use me for your service. If that's you, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. Deliver me. Wash me. Forgive me. Lord, I'm sorry. I made some mistakes. I made some bad choices. I've done some bad things. But created me a clean heart and renew your right spirit within me. Wash me now. Make me whiter than snow. From the crown of my head now to the soles of my feet. Lord, I give my life back to you. I dedicate my life to you. Lord, here am I that you may use me for your service. Any way you need me, God, I'm yours. And God, now, give me the strength to step over the very thing that kept me away from you. God, give me the power and the might to snap out of that thing and step over that thing that has kept me away from you. And God, I'll live for you all the days of my life in Jesus' name. You prayed that prayer. I want to salute and congratulate you that you are saved. You have been washed in the blood of the Lamb connect with the local church, a Bible-based church. If you want to connect with us here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral, if you're not in the area and you want to be a virtual member, you want to connect with us, this is a great opportunity to connect with us. Or if you are in this area or can get here, meet me here on next Sunday. I want to receive you into the body of Christ. I want to tell you, welcome home. So if you're without a church home and you're looking for a place to worship, we desire you to be here. I want to connect with you. I desire to be your pastor. Join us here at Living Grace Worship Cathedral. If you want to come under Watch Care or a virtual member, you can do so now. The information will be on the screen. Just drop us a message, send us an email, and we will reach out to you and welcome you into the family. If you desire to be baptized, we can make it happen. Just send us that same message. And we want to connect with you. I want to pray for somebody in this new year. I want to pray for new blessings and new mercies and whatever you may be standing in need of and need God to do for you in this year of 2021. I'm still praying for your family. And as we're still dealing with issues, God, that we have to resolve from last year, I want to pray that the best is yet to come for you in this year. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, those who are still battling COVID-19 from last year, and now God rolled over to this year. God, we know that you are a healer. God, you are a provider. We're praying, God, for this pandemic. We're praying for the economy, God, that you may stimulate it. We're praying for the leadership of this country, God, that you'll give them wisdom and direction. God, we are praying, Father, for the men and women of God, Lord, as we get ready to turn down our plate for the next 21 days in this year of 21 that, God, that you will increase, God, 21 blessings, God, into our life. God, that you'll meet every desire and every prayer request that we speak and lay before you. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord. Lord, bless our going out and our coming in. God, give us strength, Father. Give us the ability to even step over our own fears and our own doubts and our own worries. But, God, give us the motivation and the power, God, to get back to work. God, you have called, chosen, and commissioned us for service. God, help us to get back to work. There is work to do. There's lives that is depending on us. God, change our mindset. Change our behavior. No more excuses in this year of 2021. Help the leadership, God. Take back their rightful place and stand up. God, Father, you have ordained them, and you have called them, and you have given them collars and rings and and, and garments, God, to wear. But God, now they set down on you, God. Convict us, correct us, charge us, God, to get back, God, to, to the duties, Father, of the kingdom God, that we are responsible to do. Father, we pray for that husband. We pray for that wife. We 
pray for that sinner man. We pray for that sinner woman. We pray for that lost soul, God, that they may be redeemed back to you. We pray for God for those who are in the hospital and the nursing homes and rehab uh, facilities. And we pray for those who are incarcerated, God, that you would just continue to cover and heal, God, set free and deliver and bring somebody to bend their knees, God, and it may shout, what must I do to be saved? God, we call out continue healing upon Kareem's body. Strengthen him now, God. Strengthen him, God, down to his legs, to his spine, to his body. Bring divine healing, God. We speak it now in this atmosphere that this year should be the best year of his life. We pray for his mother. We pray for her sons, God, that you'll continue to cover. We pray for many others, God, that remain nameless, God, but we speak right now over their lives, over their household, God, that you'll continue to bless us. And God, now look upon Living Grace Worship Cathedral. Keep us in perfect peace. Lord, as we come back together in in-person worship, God, protect us from sickness, disease, hurt, harm, and danger. Meet every need in this house, God, spiritually, emotionally, financially, God. So, God, that we may continue to serve, to do the work, God. Bring them in, God, from the north, the south, the east. Of the I see men coming through these doors. I see women coming through these doors. I see new leaders coming through these doors. I see ministers and reverends and deacons, and prophets, God, and prophetess. I see them coming through these doors of this church, serving by the man of God's side. I thank you, God, for sending them our way. I thank you, God, for their ministry. I thank you, God, because they have a desire. They want it. They want it, God. They want it. They want more of you, God. They want to serve. They want to do the work, God. They just don't want the title. But, God, they're up for the task. And I thank you for them. And, God, we're going to put them to work. We're going to use them for your glory. God, now just keep us now. Lord, just bless us like never before, beyond measure. Lord, send favor to your house. And now, God, as we go before your table, your body that has been broken, your blood that has been shed on Calvary. Clean us, purify us with clean hands and a pure heart. If you find anything, God, that is not like you, take it away from us now. Forgive us of our sins. You taught us how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory and forevermore in jesus name amen amen get your communion amen we're going to dine at the lord's table get your communion now as i read the word of the lord 1 Corinthians 11th chapter, 23rd verse. As far as I received from the Lord, that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the same manner to which he was portrayed, he took bread, and he have given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Just do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he come. Therefore, whoever eats of the bread and drink of this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, so let him eat of the bread, drink of the cup. Whoever eats of the bread and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many are asleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we're chastised by the Lord, that, when we, that we may not be condemned with the world. Therefore, my brethren, when we come together to eat, wait for one another. But if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, lest, lest you come together with the judgment. And the rest I will set in order when I come. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be unto God.
on the night that Jesus Christ was betrayed. Sitting with his disciples, he took the bread and he broke it. And he said, take, eat. This is my body, which has been broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me, the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take your time, church. Feast on his body. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your body. After supper, he took the cup. And he said, this is the new covenant of my blood. Drink ye all of this in remembrance of me. The blood that cleanses, the blood that washes, the blood that makes us whole again, the blood that gives us strength from day to day. The blood that forgave you. The blood that forgave me. The blood and the water that came streaming down from his side. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Drink ye all of it. Come on, thank the Lord for his blood. Thank the Lord for his body. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, listen, I pray that you have been blessed. Pray that you've been empowered. Pray that you've been encouraged. Pray that you've been enlightened. Pray that your eyes have been opened. I pray that you snapped back. I pray that you stepped over it you have work to do God is holding you accountable and he's watching you this is going to be a better year I truly believe it but it's how you start off in spite of what's going on around us we serve the master I want to encourage you to get on this fast with us for the next 21 days if we don't have your email and you're watching and you want to connect with us and you want to be on this fast and you want the information, just email us at the church, L-G-W-C, D is in David, E is in Edward, at gmail.com. That's L-G-W-C-D-E at gmail.com. Bishop, I want to be on this 21-day fast. I need God to do something for me in my life in these next 21 days. This fast will bless you. Anoint your head with oil. Get your communion. Come into worship with us on Wednesday and on Sunday for these next 21 days. This is the year of spiritual wellness. God is going to do something great in your life. And so I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. I look forward to seeing all of y'all on next Sunday. Register today. Secure your seat as we come back for in person. If not, we look forward to seeing you online. Share this message. Get the word out to everyone. Father, we thank you for what our eyes have seen, what our ears have heard. Cover us now. Keep us now in perfect peace. And Lord, we thank you for keeping us in a new year, the crossover. We stepped over. We stepped over it. And we're in this year 2021, and we're anticipating great things. Now, God, let the words of our mouth, the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength our Redeemer in Jesus' name. I love you. Jesus loves you. There's nothing you can do about it. Remember, snap out of it, snap back, step over it. You got work to do. We'll see you on the other side. God bless you. Go in peace.
Hey, praise the Lord, everyone. I pray that that message met you where you are, blessed you, changed you, and empowered you. I want to invite you to continue to stay connected with us during that word that blessed your heart. Remember, your faith will not fail. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And we pray that God will continue to keep you and bless you is our prayer. Listen, if you want to connect with me, drop me an email at lgwcde at gmail.com. Or if you want to be connected through prayer, we have Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. The number is going to be located on your screen. If you want to connect with us, our address will be posted, our service time. And if you want to support us by sowing a seed into our ministry through giving, you can do so. So listen, let's stay connected because God has something great for you. The best is yet to come.